table saw blade tear out happens at the bottom of her stock when ripping or cross-cutting with the table saw. No matter how careful you are, it's going to happen. Wood is compiled of many layers of fiber, stacked on top of each other. As the tooth spins, it hits the top part of the stock and chops downward, breaking each fiber layer as it rotates. I have a stack of thin strips here. If I cut halfway in and stop, you can see that it cuts neatly. But if I cut all the way through, the bottom layer isn't supported and the layer tears instead of cutting. This is how tear out occurs. The ideal way to prevent tear out is to add a sacrificial piece of stock below the wood we plan on cutting. But this is the most wasteful method that will end up costing you a small fortune. Using a blade that is sharp and free of residue is the best defense against this annoyance, as the fibers are more likely to cut instead of tear. But a zero clearance insert is our second best safeguard, just as the upper fibers are supported. Having an insert that the teeth fit into without any blank spaces on either side gives the very last fiber support as the tooth exits. If you're interested in a zero clearance fence that works with riving knives or easy splitters, I have a link pinned in the comments. Sub and follow for more bite-sized tips. Keep making things.